Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave. Am I already really filthy? Yeah, I think I'm pretty dirty. I've already filmed one one day build today and I'm about to film a second one. Uh, today's one day build is about an optimal organization, an optimal organizational strategy for both storage and for use. That is what I'll be talking about. Recently here in the cave, um, I needed a fine feed wheel for my mill. Um, this allows me to, uh, with very fine gradations, lower the quill of my will, of my, lower the quill of my mill and my will. Um, and anyway, I turned this down. I made this part, I made it off camera, but I'm really happy with it. And I was actually so happy with it. I gave it a little label. There it is. I wanted a, a, a testament to the work that I had done. So I made this little label that said fabricated 620. And then I signed it with an engraver, a little electric engraver. So uh, making parts that work in my shop is something that I, I love doing. And I was so happy with that one that like I put a testament of my love for the project on it in that brass plaque. And I want to do more of that. But when I think about it, I am hindered by the just the exhausting slog that it is to go find all the letters that you need here and look carefully. And I have four different types of letters. I have typewriter font, normal font, big and small, and I have numbers for most of those. And I was thinking I want to make more of these brass plaques, but I was also thinking, man, I, I just don't love that process. It's boring and it's a slog. And then this methodology hit me that would allow me to store all four sizes and types and fonts of my letter stamps. It allows me to store them and to use them. And this is great. When the storage solution also makes the thing easier to use, that, that's why we're filming this one. This is, this is a good one. All right, so uh, here are the, oh yeah, this one's, these ones I just got. I didn't know you could get typewriter font. That is totally awesome. I want the, I want more of that ability. Um, so I've got four different letter forms here, plus numbers for two of them or even three of them. Hard to say, yes, anyway, how to store them. Many holes, but the letters are all consistent. Yes! So I had this big chunk of basswood, which I think is just perfect for this. And I am going to look at a hole spacing. So here's a hole spacing, which I can try following or even get a little bit closer to. Um, and I can just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh my gosh, 26, great. So even using this whole spacing, uh, I can fit 26 letters across the top of this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to chuck this into my mill and do a ton of hole drilling. Uh, and then I'm gonna have probably, uh, this doesn't have numbers. That one does, and those are numbers for that. So I have two sets of numbers, great. So I'll probably do four letter forms and four number forms, 26 times four and then 10 times four. And that should allow me to easily find and use all the letters that I have. Super psyched.
All right. That is the holder for the letter set of my dreams. It holds four complete self. It holds four complete alphabets, three different ampersands, a period, and two number sets. This is fabulous. This is going to make working with this really, really easy. I think I may even make it stand up like this. Yeah. I think that's entirely feasible that I should do that. Let us do something like this. Uh, you know what I want to do? Yeah, here's one. Oh, this is going to be neat. Oh, ooh, not long enough. Uh, oh, I do have one. Great. So if it sits like that, I can sit here and I'd be like, yep, let me grab the F. Dunk, like that. Yep, great. Um, so, so let's cut that out on the bandsaw.
right? Yeah, that is. So, dude, dudes, dudes and dudettes, it's a lovely thing. All right, uh, yeah. Let's make a mark. Let's make a mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my exacto as a spacer because why not? That's one. That's the other. And pull it out like that. Ah, that could have been neater. It certainly could have been neater. Got a little glue spilled on my table. There we go. That is, I'm really, really, really happy with that. That just feels great. Yeah. All right, now, uh, some of you may be wondering why I drilled so many more holes than I have letters, and it's simply because I'm ambitious. I have made the letter holder for the shop I want, not the shop I have. I expect that I may want at least one more font, we will see, and then I may collect another couple of number sets or other characters even. Um, yeah, basically I've allowed some expansion to happen and this is a really, this is great. This is usable in situ. I may have to open up some of these holes just a little bit, like some of them are just a little tight because I got debris in them. Uh, but I am really pleased. I've been thinking about this for about a week and a half now and it's great to finally execute it. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. I'd love to see pictures of the custom shop organization stuff that you've made to service both the storage and the use of some of your tools. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.